Solve the equations using the additive inverse. Equation number 1. n plus 8 equals 11. To solve this equation means that we want to have the variable all alone on one side of the equation, and we can apply any operation to an equation as long as we do it to both sides. So here to get this n all by itself, I need to remove the plus 8. To remove the plus 8, I use the additive inverse, subtract 8. 8 minus 8 will equal 0. And if I subtract 8 from one side, I must subtract it from the other side to keep it balanced. I now have n plus 0 on the left-hand side, and 11 minus 8 equals 3 on the right-hand side, and n plus 0 is the same as just n. So I have the variable solved, n equals 3. This is my solved equation. And to quickly check our answer, we would take the original equation, we would put the value we solved for, which is 3 in this case, substitute it for the variable n, and check to see if it made the equation true, and indeed it does in this equation. n equals 3 is the value that makes n plus 8 equal 11 true. So that's what it meant to solve the equation, to find that value that will make this original equation true. So I used an inverse operation to get the variable to be all by itself on one side. Your turn. Solve for y in this equation. Alright, let's check your work. To solve for y, the first additive inverse you should use would be to subtract 1. And to keep the equation balanced, we subtract 1 on both sides. You would then end up with y plus 0 on your left hand side, and 5 minus 1 is 4 on your right hand side, and y plus 0 is just y, so you should have the solved equation y equals 4. And if you checked it, you would have 4 plus 1 equals 5, which indeed does equal 5, and that confirms that y equals 4 is the correct solution. y equals 4 is the value that makes y plus 1 equals 5, a true equation. Well, students, you already know how to solve equations using the additive inverse. In this lesson, we will solve inequalities using the additive inverse. It'll be basically the same thing, just a different symbol here. Instead of equal, we'll use one of our inequality symbols.